only on 10. A Norfolk mother faces felony charges. And she says it was over trying to find out if her daughter is being bullied. This all took place at Ocean View Elementary School. She's accused of using a recording device to find out if her child's teacher is ignoring the situation. Then at your size, Jason Marks has exclusive details so you can judge for yourself, Jason. And guys, I don't think anyone's questioning whether Sarah Sims sent her daughter to school with that recorder. The bigger question is, why was Sims charged and why has she not still had a conversation with school officials? They aren't making this about the child and what's happening in that classroom. In a small Virginia Beach room, an attorney and her client are trying to figure out how felony charges were brought up in Norfolk. These are charges that carry jail time. The center of the investigation is Sarah Sims, a single mother just days from getting her college degree. She was charged after sending a recording device with her nine-year-old daughter to school. I try to be fair, but it's not fair. There's, there's nothing fair about this. Sims says her fourth grade daughter is bullied at Ocean View Elementary. After repeated attempts to contact the school with no answers, Sims put the recorder in her daughter's backpack in hopes of catching something wrong at the school. The recorder was found, and a month later, Sims found herself in jail. So if I'm not getting an answer from you, then what am I left to do? Norfolk School says it can't comment on the case because the investigation is still pending. They did tell us no electronics are allowed in elementary schools. The things that bothered me the most, I have yet to get a response from anyone in the administration. Sims' attorney says the two charges, wiretapping and contributing to delinquency of a minor, are a stretch. She believes neither will hold up in court. We are at the very early stages of this, but even at the very early stages, I think the community needs to know that this is happening because any parent out there who is sending their child to school now could be at risk for something that has happened to Sarah. Now, Sims and her attorney say they have not had a chance to hear what that recording or what was on that. They have not had that yet. The nine-year-old has been moved to another classroom. Sims will be back in court in January for a preliminary hearing. In the newsroom, Jason Marks, 10 on your side.